Stardew Valley 1.6 is finally here and with it comes some amazing quality of life changes. Hello everybody, this is GamerGar. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more Stardew Valley content. Let's get into the quality of life changes. The first, we have the first catch indicator for fishing. It's absolutely amazing and it is so satisfying to see it pop up the very first time you catch a fish. This will apply to any fish in the game if you haven't gotten it before and it's a really good indication in terms of what you've caught and what you haven't. Next up is harvesting in Pelican Town. Yes, we can now harvest in the actual Pelican Town. Let's just take a look at all these lovely tea leaves. Unfortunately, tea saplings have been nerfed. I don't know what I'm going to do for my future 100 day videos, but hey, we can harvest in Pelican Town. Happy days. <laughs> the next quality of life change is the quest indicator. So let's just go to the help wanted board here. We'll also notice a ticket down there as well. That ticket can be handed in to Mayor Lewis. He has a machine inside his house that can give us back pretty sweet rewards. But the big thing here is the actual quest updates. As we can see, every time we pull up a fish here, on the top right hand side of our screen, we'll get a sweet quest indicator that will tell us how close we are to completing our quest. And this doesn't just count for fish, this also counts for any sort of help wanted quest where we have to go out and collect resources. Clint, for example, will send us on many a quest to check out the iron ores, the copper ores, the stones of Stardew Valley. <laughs> so that is another quality of life update that has been implemented into this game that's going to make life way easier for all of us. The next big quality of life update is moving full chests. This is an absolute game changer. Before we could actually move them, but we had to kind of run into them. It was very hard to move them around when we wanted to. Now it is way easier. All we need is just some sort of a tool, a pickaxe for example, and we just have to swing our good trusty pickaxe here and the chest will move no problem at all. If your chest is on any sort of a ledge, surrounded by water, don't worry, it won't fall off, it will just bounce right back at you. No need to lose precious loot stored inside. Next up, let's talk about the new quality of life update, flooring under buildings. Right now, we're placing on a path, and our path is just outside of our house and our shed. But if we look closely, we can see a gap between our path and the shed, and it doesn't look too great from an aesthetic point of view. But once we put the extra floors down, it looks way better. We can now put floors just at the bottom tile of each building to make it look like that the building is actually is almost fully on the actual path. And it just adds a whole load of realism to the game, in my opinion. I think it's a huge game changer if you're striving for that perfect farm. Next up, let's talk about the game changer here when it comes to crystallariums. So the days of putting minerals into crystallariums by accident is over. The only way to change a mineral now is at a crystallarium is to pickaxe it up, put the crystallarium back down, and then put your desired mineral back inside. This is going to save you major headaches going forward. I don't know how many times in my previous files I've ran past crystallariums with different types of minerals in my hand and you accidentally go in and you've lost out on either a diamond or a jade or something very important that you're trying to process. As we can see now we're going to switch out our diamonds for jades because we are going to do some serious skull cavern runs in the future. You better believe it. <laughs> Another huge quality of life update is Robin's stock. As we all know, Robin is the vendor of many braziers. In the version 1.5, we had to purchase one brazier, come out of her menu and go back in to get the next brazier. So in order for us to get specific types of braziers, including all of them, we had to go out and in numerous, numerous times. That's now changed. We can now go in, purchase all of the braziers at once, but even better, we can purchase specific braziers without getting the prerequisites. This is an absolute game changer, especially when it comes to the aesthetics of your farm and what you can afford right now and what you want to get later on to get perfection. Next up, let's talk about NPCs destroying chests. NPCs will no longer destroy chests. They will just move them out of the way when they're walking along, which is great. Pam is just so devoted to her job. It's a pity she can't show the same devotion for her caravan. <laughs> the next big quality of life update you can now drive the bus. So in version 1.5, sometimes Pam wouldn't be available and you'd have to wait until the next day or whenever she becomes available to get into the desert if you don't have any warp totems. But that's now changed. Now Pam will put up a nice neat sign saying she's going to the festival today. You will have to drive the bus yourself. No problem, Pam. I do have a full driving license. 
no hassle at all. <laughs> we still have to pay the ticket fee, which is unfortunate. But not to worry, at least we can get to the desert on days we don't want to go to the festival or other special occasions where Pam can't drive the actual bus. It even shows her character drive the bus, which is pretty cool. Next up, let's talk about the annoyance of animals. We can now have tons and tons of animals in this game, so Concerned Ape has reduced the amount of time it takes to pass through your animals, so now there won't be as much of a hindrance, especially if you need to get into that bed before your character falls unconscious to stock up on that precious energy for the next day to come. The next big quality of life update is to drop items fast. We can now drop items extremely quickly. We don't have to go into the menu anymore and pull them out. It is just a simple click. It's just shift and right click over the item and you'll drop that item immediately. This is extremely handy if you don't have a whole lot of time left in the day and you're panicking to pick up a certain item. If you just have the first backpack in order of any of the upgrades and you want to get that juicy prismatic shard, you want to get that emerald or diamond, you can just very quickly drop an item you hover over and your character will automatically pick up the next item. Next up, let's talk about purchasing 999 of an item with just a single press of a few keys. All we have to do now is hold down left shift, left control and the number one and we will purchase a full stack of resources from any vendor in the game. It is just a huge time saver. I cannot thank Concerned Ape enough. Thank you so much. Next up, we have a really big one here. Reposition using the tools. We can now reposition ourselves when we're charging up our tools to do a big harvest, etc. So we have the hoe here. And as we can see, I wanted to reposition myself. I just have to hold down the charge button and I can just move my character around. Your character does a really cool pivot. And it's just so handy, especially if you're low on energy. And the last few swings really count before your character either slows down or your character goes unconscious. It's going to be such a game changer. It's going to be a lifesaver, especially when you're new to the game and you don't know how energy works or if you're just starting out and you don't have loads of energy or loads of food to keep your character sustained. It's going to be a huge game changer right there. Next up, let's talk about an easier reload for the slingshot. I'm not a slingshot fan myself, but this change makes the slingshot much easier to use. As we can see, our slingshot has run out of its current ammo. It now works the exact same way as you're attaching bed to a fishing rod. You just right click on the ammo and you can just assign it to that slingshot straight away. And onwards we go, slingshotting away <laughs> inside the quarry. There is now new secrets inside the quarry caves, just so you know. But I'm not going to spoil you here. Make sure to watch my 100th video that's going to hit in a couple of days. Next up, let's talk about placing torches on sprinklers. Yes, we can now place torches on sprinklers. And this is going to come in so handy, especially if you take a look at the strawberry event, for example. How many of you have purchased strawberries, went back to your farm in a panic to hoe up the ground and plant those strawberries as quickly as possible, but as it gets darker, you can't see the ground properly? Bless the torches. Huge shout out to my channel members. Thanks so much for your support. And I'll see everyone in the next video.